Welcome to another training session on the PLC programming. In today's session, we will see how we can program the buffer conveys. Before starting today's session, I would like you guys to please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials and to stay connected with this channel. Let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. First, we have part emitter which emits the trace. Next, we have anti conveyor and the buffer conveyor. Next we have two push buttons to start and stop the system. Now as we press the start push button, the system should start and both conveyor should start to run and emitter will emit a tray onto the entry conveyor. This tray will be shifted to the buffer conveyor as both conveyors will be running. Next we have sensor at the entry of the buffer conveyor. This sensor will be used to detect the tray transfer onto the buffer conveyor. Next we have a sensor at the exit on the buffer conveyor. This sensor will be used to keep track of the number of trays exited the buffer conveyor. Next we have the sensor just under the tray emitter. This sensor is named as part ready. This sensor is used to detect if the tray is emitted from the emitter onto the entry conveyor. Next we have the stop button to stop the conveyors. Now we have to make the PLC program in such a way that when we press the start push button, it will start both conveyors and it will also trigger the tray emitter. As the tray comes in front of this sensor, it will disable the part emitter. The tray will travel onto the buffer conveyor. As the tray moves in front of this entry sensor, it will again trigger the emitter to emit another tray. As the tray comes in front of this sensor, it will disable the part emitter. This second tray will be transferred onto the buffer conveyor and as it passes in front of this sensor, it will again trigger the emitter. And again it will emit the third tray. And this tray will be transferred onto the buffer conveyor. After the third tray, emitter will not be triggered again. Now these three trays will travel on the buffer conveyor and as all three trays passes in front of the sensor at the end, it will again start the emitter cycle and emitter will again emit three trays. And this cycle of loading trays and unloading trays will continue until someone press the stop push button. Now let's see the programming part. In the network one, we have the logic to start the cycle. As we press the start push button, the SR latch will set the start cycle bit M20.0. If someone press the stop push button, it will reset the start cycle bit. In the network number 2, as the start cycle bit is on, it will turn on the PLC outputs Q0.1 and Q0.2. It will turn on the entry conveyor and the buffer conveyor. In the network number 3, we have written the logic for the meter. As the start cycle bit M20.0 turns on, on its rising edge, the part meter Q0.0 turns on, and it will emit a tray on the entry conveyor. As this tray passes in front of the part ready sensor I0.3 on the rising edge, it will disable the part emitter to stop emitting the trays. As this emitted tray travels in front of the part at entry sensor I0.4, on the falling edge it will again set the part emitter to emit the next tray. As we have used here a comparator instruction, now this logic works until the part or the tray count is less than 3. This means that only three trays will be emitted in one cycle. Next in the network 4 we have the logic to count the tray emitted. Whenever the tray comes in front of the part ready sensor I0.3, this part emitted counter will be incremented by 1. In the network number 5 we have the logic to count the trays unloaded or exited. Whenever the tray comes in front of the sensor I0.5, this part unloaded counter will be incremented by 1. As all three trays are unloaded, this contact of counter closes and it will reset this counter. In the network number 4, this same contact reset the part emitted counter. As this counter reset, its current value goes to 0. This comparator will go high and it triggers a rising edge and it will again enable the part emitter to emit a tray. And the whole cycle will start again. Now let's test the programming. 
As you can see that as we press the start push button, it starts both conveyors and the emitter. Emitter emits the first tray and the counter is incremented by one. As you can see that this tray passes in front of the part at entry sensor on the negative edge, it again triggers the emitter to emit the second tray. Now as soon as this second tray passes in front of the part at entry sensor on the negative edge, it again triggers the emitter to emit the third tray. Now these three trays will continue to travel on the buffer conveyor and as these trays passes in front of the exit sensor, the part unloaded counter increments by one. As all three trays passes in front of the exit sensor, it resets the counter and the counter value goes to zero. And this comparator triggers the part emitter to emit the tray again. As the tray comes in front of the part ready sensor on the rising edge, it resets or turns off the part emitter. Now all three trays are traveling on the buffer conveyor one by one, all trays are passing the exit sensor. As soon as all three trays passes this sensor, it resets all counters to zero. And this comparator triggers again the part emitter to emit the trays. In the network number 4, we have the part emitter counter as soon as the tray comes in front of the part ready sensor, this counter increments by 1. Now as you can see that all 3 trays are emitted. In the network number 5, we have the part emitter counter. As soon as the tray comes in front of the exit sensor, this counter increments by 1. As you can see that as all three trays exit the buffer, this counter resets and it again starts the meter to emit the next three trays. And this cycle will continue until we press the stop push button. So that's the end of the today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. And till next video, take care and goodbye.